in this lecture let us discuss about natural language processing so we will see the introduction part so first of all what is meant by natural language so as we all know humans will communicate with each other using words and text right so we can say that uh, the way that humans they convey information with each to each other so that can be considered as a natural language so how they are sharing information with each other so there is there should be a, a communication medium so they need a language for communication right so that language is nothing but natural language so every day humans they share large large quality of information with each other and they'll be communicating in various languages and that too here the communication can, can takes place in the form of text or speech right so so how they are communicating with each other so how they know the grammar so uh, uh, as as a child we didn't know the grammar or the semantics involved in the day to day spoken languages by means of which our elders used to interact with us <laughs> so whatever we used to hear or get our sense processed with so we used to learn and try to apply it right so in the same way machines also they do the same thing so they'll use lot of modified and complex rules in order to communicate in our day to day lives we make use of lots of sentences which are not that perfect in terms of grammar or vocabulary rules but still we interpret them in the correct manner so this happens because we humans have our understanding level up to that point so where uh, we can interpret conversations like uh, we can decode the decode the sentences based on our past experiences we are trying to understand the sentences based on our past experience right but it's not th that easy for machine to understand various natural forms involved in a natural language so you in natural language you can observe various forms like sarcasm or slang words emotions anger politeness love care etc can the computers be able to understand all these things no right so here the computers they cannot interpret this data so which is nothing but or which is in the form of natural language so they'll just communicate everything in the form of zeros and ones so this difference in the performance of human as well as a machine to process a natural language is not just dependent on speed but it even depend it uh, but it even depends mostly on efficiency so with this we can define natural language processing as sub field of artificial intelligence which mainly focus on interaction between computers and human language or interaction between human and machine so here you can see that clearly so what is natural language natural language processing is it refers to the branch of ai that gives the machine the ability to read understand and derive meaning from human languages here the data produced is precious and it can offer valuable insights so so we need computers to be able to understand emulate and respond intelligently to human speech so the main goal of uh, machines or the main goal of this natural language processing is to enable machines to comprehend interpret and then generate text so all these things they should be done in a manner that mimics the human language understanding so then only communication can happen efficiently between human and machine so you can see this picture clearly so it's a sub field of ai artificial intelligence that mainly focus on interaction between computers and 
human languages or uh, we can say that computers and humans so in the present context a significant portion of data it exists in an unstructured format so here the data can be in the form of text video and images so among these unstructured data types textual data holds a major share so nlp it plays a vital role in handling the in handling as well as analyzing this textual data by using machine learning algorithms so from this diagram we can even define this nlp as it's a specialized area within linguistics and within linguistics computer science and artificial intelligence so what is nlp we can define this nlp as it's a specialized area within linguistics computer science and artificial intelligence so it mainly focus on study of computer human language interactions especially the development of computer programs that can effectively process and analyze vast volumes of natural language data then process of natural language processing so we'll see the process so just now we saw nlp means it is the ability of machines to understand as well as interpret human language the way it is spoken or written so we can say that the objective of nlp is to make computers or machines as intelligent as intelligent as human beings so that they can understand the language and the final goal or the main goal of nlp is to fill the gap how the people communicate that is in the natural language and what computer understands which is machine language so it uh, this natural language processing it always tries to fill the gap between human and computer interaction or communication so we can see that there are three different levels of linguistic analysis that should be done before performing nlp one is syntax that means what part of the given text is grammatically right so we should take care of that and semantics so what is the meaning of the given text right understanding meaning of the text is important and then pragmatics so what is the purpose of the text so we need to analyze these levels of linguistic so we need to perform uh, this linguistic analysis before performing nlp next coming to the mechanism so the mechanism of natural language processing it mainly involves two processes one is natural language understanding and second one is natural language generation so in case of text is composed of speech the speech to text conversation is performed so if you take this first one that is natural language understanding so here it can even be referred to as nlu and natural language understanding it always tries to understand meaning of the given text so first it should understand right before generating the text so this task should be performed before natural language generation the nature and structure of each word inside the text is it must be known for natural language understanding okay so whenever a sentence is given then first this step or this process it should understand the nature and structure of every word present in that sentence for understanding the structure natural language understanding here it mainly attempts to find out it attempts to resolve ambiguity present in the language so what is this, what is meant by this ambiguity so we can find different kinds of ambiguities so we'll uh, so here i'll explain different categories of ambiguities clearly in detail in further uh, upcoming lectures so as of now 
just uh, we'll just have a brief discussion about this so coming to lexical ambiguities so we when whenever a word have more than one meaning then we can say that it is lexical ambiguity syntactic ambiguity so if a sentence is having more than one parse tree then that is represented or that is uh, considered as syntactic ambiguity and semantic so semantic means it always deals with meaning so if a sentence is having multiple meanings then it comes under semantic ambiguity and then anaphoric one that means a phrase or the given word which is previously mentioned but it has a different meaning so don't worry about this now we can discuss about all these things in detail in the next uh, lecture so then so here nlu it should understand all these things it should resolve different kinds of ambiguities or these can categories of ambiguities present in the natural language and also the sense of each word is understood by using lexicons so lexicons are nothing but vocabulary as well as set of grammatical rules so certain different words are having similar meaning which is nothing but synonym and words having more than one meaning that is polysemy so all these things should be identified and all these things should be resolved properly so that is the understanding part next one is natural language generation natural language generation it can mine large quantities of numeric data then identify the patterns and share the information in a way that uh, in a way that is easy for humans to understand so that is the main uh, motto or main intention of this nlg so what is what is nlg it will mine large quantity of numerical data then from that data it will identify the patterns and share that information in such a way that it will be easy for humans to understand so we'll see the working process of this so we can define it as process of automatically producing text from structured data and this produced text should be in a readable format by providing meaningful phrases and sentences so it should be done in such a way that it will be easy for humans to understand and natural language generation it is uh, divided into three stages one is text planning sentence planning and then realization so let us take one document like this so here the first step is we need to identify main topics okay so natural language uh, in this in this text planning phase this stage includes identifying main topics in the source document from this document main topics are identified and then and also it will find out the relationship between the topics say suppose let us take topic 1 topic 2 this stage should identify relationship between the topics so from the document we are ident uh, it is identifying main topics as well as relationship between topics next the data it should be interpreted and patterns are identified so from these main topics patterns are identified and everything is put into context so from this we got this so this is context so patterns are identified and they are arranged in the form of context next document plan is created and a narrative structure is selected based on the type of data being interpreted after this in sentence planning phase the sentences are combined so relevant sentences are combined 
from this context right so here we need to find out sentences which are relevant to each other from this context and they should be arranged in such a way that so they should be combined such that it should summarize the topic so after uh, combining sentences in this context meaningful or relevant sentences will get an output right so this is nothing but summarization of the topic summarize the topic so that is done in sentence planning so summarization it always represent flow of information right so we should not combine sentences uh, randomly so here we need to make sure that while after com combining everything that summarization should provide flow of information next step 3 is realization that means grammatical various grammatical rules are applied here on this summarization various grammatical rules are applied in order to generate grammatically correct sentences and after that the final output is uh, it is generated based on the template that is selected by the user so finally we will get the text so all these sentences they will be generated in the form of text and that format it should be according to the template uh, selected by the programmer or user so this is done in natural language generation 